Hello, in this video we will present you Tavi Analysis software. Tavi Analysis is a CT integrated application for sizing, planning and visualization. It provides automation and guided workflow for efficient transaortic valve implantation planning. This video tutorial focuses on the first steps of the valve definition, from annulus definition to aorta angulation. In order to start, select the patient exam on the worklist browser and select the applicable series. We select two series in this example. One for the valve measurement, this is a multiphase one. And one vascular application to define the vascular access. Then select the Darby application from the shortcuts. There are three main steps in the Tavi software. Valve definition for device sizing. Aorta analysis for the vascular access definition. And procedure preparation to send some segmentation to vision application for the interventional part. Within the valve definition step, all the steps are displayed in accordion on the wizard panel on the right hand side of the screen. The first step is at the top and the following ones at the bottom. On the wizard panel, there are tabs for each phase. You can easily navigate from one phase to the another one by clicking on the phase tabs. The aim of the annulus definition step is to define the annulus of the aortic valve. You need to deposit three points to define the plane. The points need to be deposited at the nadir of each cusp. You select the first point you will deposit, the right coronary cusp. You deposit the point on the right coronary cusp. The software will automatically select the left coronary cusp. You deposit the point on the left coronary cusp. The software will automatically select the non-coronary cusp. You deposit the point on the non-coronary cusp. The three points deposited define the annulus plane. You can edit the position of any of those points as needed. To do so, you grab and move the point. You can also delete the point by right-clicking on it and selecting Delete. Once you have defined your annulus plane, you can validate it by clicking on Validate Plane button on the wizard panel. A pre-contour of the aortic plane is displayed. You can modify or edit the annulus contour. On the upper right viewport, place your cursor on the annulus, and modify the shape or the contouring. You can use the interpolation tool on the wizard panel to choose the length of the additions. Once your contouring is completed, you can click on Validate Annulus Contour button in the wizard panel. You get all the measurements for the annulus contour on the upper right viewport. You can do a right click on the measurements to either delete one or several of them, or select the ones you want to see by checking or unchecking some statistics. All that information will be saved on the summary table and on the report. You can use the Show Annulus Plane button to find the plane back if you have moved of orientation and lost the plane. We can now go to the Aorta Angulation step. This step contains two features, the S-curve and the Annulus Angulation. The S-curve in blue shows all the perpendicular angles to the aortic annulus. You can go through all the angles and see the orientation on the 3D view. The aim is to choose the optimal perpendicular view to the annulus plane that will be used during the interventional procedure. The angle represented by the red dot is the one saved by default. It is always the closest to the origin of the graph. If you want to edit this angle, 
you move the point along the S-curve and click on Save Current S-curve Angles. The angle will be saved on the summary table and on the report. The angle is saved and is displayed on the wizard panel. Click on Display Annulus Angle and the angle between the annulus plane and the horizontal plane is displayed. This angle is intended to know how horizontal the annulus is. This measurement cannot be edited, it can only be deleted by selecting the measurement and clicking on Delete. 